Good morning. I am Dr. Jaydeep Basu. I am a practicing gynecologist in Salt Lake and Kolkata. Today's topic, broadly speaking, is on infertility. I am dividing into two parts. One is male and uh, female. Infertility is growing now day by day due to certain causes. One is increasing age of the partners, smoking, alcohol, multiple partners, late marriages, taking time to settle down. So these are the recent causes of infertility. In, along with the, some basic tradi traditional causes of infertility, from the male side there is inadequate semen volume, count, motility and a lot of other factors are there. On the female side traditionally there is, a, there is tubal blockage. There can be hormonal causes, uh, causes like leading to polycystic ovarian disease or syndrome as you may like to put it and there is endometriosis. Briefly touching on the male partner, male partner we have to do a basic semen analysis test along with a basic advanced test for cement uh, test especially for sperm fragmentation. If the sperm is fra fragmentation more than 30 percent there is a chance of infertility. So this is the cause of male infertility. So the male partner should be inve investigated uh, th uh, thoroughly and if necessary a color doppler study of both the testes should be done and uh, lower abdominal sonography to rule out the prostate. One basic thing we must always remember while treating a patient for infertility that no matter how much investigations we are doing both on the male side and the, on the female side, we have to ensure and ask very delicately whether they are having proper contact with each other. Because it has been seen in many cases there has been inadequate relationship between the husband and wife and we doctors keep on treating them and investigating them doing test after test and later on they confess that they have not been able to stay together properly. So a clinical examination to see whether there has been proper intercourse is very important. Now I have told about the male partner, my female partner I have said that traditional causes, upcoming causes. Now traditional causes is endometriosis which is a preponderance of estrogen. It is a cause, it is a very painful condition leading to painful periods and painful intercourse and it should be diagnosed and treated adequately over a period of time. In, it is in, uh, peculiarly in this endometriosis, it has been seen that the fallopian tube is open, but since the, it is a pro-inflammatory condition in the pelvic region, the pregnancy does not take place. So we have to be very patiently and thoroughly treat the patient, make the patient endometriosis free either by medicines or go for laparoscopy and remove the chocolate cyst and adenomyomectomy if necessary. Now coming back to polycystic ovarian, polycystic ovarian disease, it is in increasing day by day. It is divided into three groups. One is adolescent PCO, one is childbearing age, one is postmenopausal. Postmenopausal we rarely see. Adolescent PCO is increasing because of increasing weight, increasing hormone, increasing growth hormone, diet, exercise, lifestyle modification, metformin, oral contraceptive pills will treat the adolescent PCO. Coming to the childbearing age, we have to the, uh, invest in all the proper blood tests, sonography inv investigation and uh, basic tests like FSH, LH, AMH, thyroid, prolactin and then categorize the patient, how severe the patient is and if the patient wants a pregnancy then we give that ovulation induction drugs along with tablets and in injections. Uh, and if the patient is married and does not want children but wants to treat the PCO, we give oral contraceptive pill, metformin and inositol group of drugs along with vitamin D3. So in a, in a, in a nutshell, we, we see that it, we have to take a wholesome, holistic approach, zero on the target properly, whether it is a male cause or a female cause. If the male cause is excluded, concentrate on the uh, uh, wife of the uh, wife and see what is the cause tubal factor, endocrine factor, immunological factor, PCOS is an immunological disorder, whether it is endometriosis or, or PCOS, if it is PCOS, patient wanted treat a pregnancy, you go one way, patient does not want treatment, we go the other way. So, th so this is a, a basically um, a, an, an approach which should be individualized and target oriented and not, generally it turns out to be very fruitful. So thank you very much. I hope I have been able to convey to you in simple terms that you have nothing to worry about. We, we, me and my all my colleagues in my fraternity are always there to help you. 
science is developing day by day not we have got iwave we have got ICSI and we have got the traditional iuih so thank you very much i, I wish you all the best in life